Hello and a very good afternoon. Good morning. Welcome back to Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby. Thank you for joining us on this Sunday, final day of the week. Or well, I suppose depending on how you look at it, first day of the new week. It's kind of our final day of the week because, of course, we wrap things up a little bit later on with our second chance Sunday where we bring you some of our favourite deals from recent times. Uh, that's coming up later on 6 o'clock uh, here in the UK. Right now, though, it is a masterclass all about things that pop out. Uh, so, uh, I don't I don't, want to, <laughs> I, don't, I don't want you popping out during the show. I want you to stay with us uh, whilst we do all of the popping out as it were. Uh, just before we get started on that, though, let me remind you um, on the website right now, our Summer Sea Sun sale. There's so much on there. Um, you, you will, I'm sure by now, have checked your emails and seen the email today, um, which gives you a bit of a heads up as to some of the best deals of the day today, uh, up to 75% off deals today on the web. So do go and check those out. Also on the web today, if you've got the Gemini Pro, you will definitely want to know about this. We're doing three for two on Gemini Pro accessories. So worth a look uh, if you have got that machine to pick up all of those deals and as I say you can find lots more on our website as well including the shop the day page which is super handy if you missed color me happy a little bit earlier on you can see the deals right there and also you can get a bit of a heads up and a sneak peek as to what is coming later on on second chance Sunday but as I said uh, this show is uh, all about popping out it's all about uh, dies that are going to give you that kind of surprise element within your cards and in your makes um, just to give you a bit of a heads up we're going to be looking at things like your spiral pop outs your pop out sentiments your pop out scene uh, cards. Uh, we've got the twist and pops and also uh, we've got the ornate pop outs. So much. If you love cards that do things that have a bit of a, you know, a je ne sais quoi about them, you will love this show. And of course, with it being a masterclass, we encourage you to get in touch, say hello, let us know which collections you've got and why you love them so much. Let us know what you're shopping for and also fire any questions our way as well uh, that you need any answers two it's not just me on uh, this uh, sunny sunday afternoon i am joined by uh well one of my absolute faves and she has got i think about 73 demos lined up for you yep. on this show uh popping in on the pop-out show is corin hello and right. look, these are amazing i love these so how these pop outs work so we're going to look first at our ornate pop outs yes so these are our ornate pop outs and you can see what you do is you have your card so you've got your regular Ooh, okay. card base just like that and what you have is you have the element that pops out in the center just like that isn't that absolutely gorgeous so we've got the rectangle you can see on here now they are not just a one trick pony they don't just have to pop out like that i've got this gorgeous zigzag card just here where it's going to pop out on the front just like that yeah so that's gorgeous you've got your oval which you can see we've got it popping Ooh. out just like that yeah is that uh, is that dancing dragonflies I think it might be. Or is it something to do with a hummingbird? All oh, right, OK. Yeah. That's pre my time, so I just thought it looked a bit like dancing dragonflies. And you've got your circles, so they don't have to just be one. You can have, look at that, I've got one popping wow. out in the middle, and then I've got one popping out on either side, just there, yeah. like that. Isn't that absolutely perfect? And also, there is a, ma a majestic damask, which is what we're going to do our first demo with. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, we'll be cracking on with those. Um, on the socials today, Superstar Susie on the socials. So if you've got any questions you want to throw away, she'll be dealing with those and sending them my way. Uh, already in is Sarah Brown saying, hello everyone from Corinne to Ben and the whole CTV crew, Johnny and Charlotte in the gallery today. Hello, they say, and hi. Hoping you're all doing well. Sending hugs your way from Melbourne, Australia, says uh, Sarah. That's what you sounded like, Charlotte. You went, hi, like that. You did. Just your hi. And Johnny went, hello, like that. <laughs> that sounded like Johnny, actually, that did. Hello. <laughs> he did it again. I wish you could hear him. Hello. <laughs> Sounds like Postman Pat. <laughs> it does sound a bit like a character of Postman Pat. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, I love that show. Did you get that in the US, Postman Pat, with Ted Glenn? Hey, oh, Pat. <laughs> Granny, like. Granny Goggins. Granny Goggins, who ran the post, post office. office. No, it's Mrs. Goggins. Mrs. Goggins. It was ran. Granny Dryden. Granny Dryden. Yeah. Oh, blimey, yes. Yeah. Uh, Ted, Ted Glenn was my favourite because he's the fix it man. Hey, oh, Pat. Uh, we've got Lynn Harvey saying hi again, Ben. <laughs> 
Corin, the ZTV team and the wonderful social superstar <laughs> Susie and everyone. <laughs> Uh, Laura says hello from Arkansas. <laughs> Johnny's just got it signed off so professional and four minutes in he's already ruining it. Uh, <laughs> Pammy says hello Corinne, Ben and the crew. Uh, hi to Mary Pat 1000 and hello to Mary Reno from Maine. Let us uh, have a look at what's coming up. Let's go through all of them for you so you can see everything that's coming up so you can make some decisions nice and early on here. Uh, so your all eight pop outs that's what we're going to be looking at first of all. Um, these are lovely, launched on the 7th of June. Uh, the price you're seeing there on screen is for all four of those. If you want to go on a two for the two for £18 or $23, uh, but the platinum price for all four, $25.57 or 32.76. Next, my favorites uh, when it comes to um, kinetic cards, the Twist and Pops. This is the Advanced Twist and Pop die collection. Comes with all of the um, different Twist and Pops that you're seeing there. Plus, we throw in the mechanism as well, so you are away uh, and twisting and popping, um, no problem at all. Low stock on this, though. We don't have a huge amount of stock here. Uh, and if you don't want to go for the full bundle, it's two for 30, two for 35, when you consider the platinum price and uh, the fact that you're getting the mechanism in the bundle. I would jump in and grab that. Next up, the pop out scenes on a 70% discount here. Look at the price on this. Uh, £15.20 or $18.80 if you're platinum. Uh, £14.50 or $18 you can get two for, but why would you uh, when you can pick up all of them for £19 or $23.50? That is an unbelievable buy today. And talking about unbelievable, uh, the shape pop out. Again, look at the deal on these 70% uh, saving, £15.58 with these. Uh, so again, once these cards open up, you're going to get those beautiful sentiments popping to the fore uh, for just £15.58. 58 or 17 pound 94 now i've got to tell you i can't think of or maybe i can think of one occasion where we've done an 80 percent saving that's what this is the spiral pop out die collection you're getting 80 that's 80 not 18 80 80 percent uh saving these are normally 12.99 each so if you're a platinum member you're getting all of them for less than the, pr the price of one i mean seriously what do you want? <laughs> That's incredible. Uh, the spiral pop out dies are a phenomenal collection. Sarah's favourites she was talking about the other day, uh, you can pick them up for £12.46 or $14.35. I would go as far as to say that if, say, you've got, I don't know, the, the balloon and the heart one, for example, um, and you're thinking, well, I've already got those, what's the point in buying the collection? The point is, you can get all of them for the price of £12.46. So if you end up with duplicates, Give, you know, uh, give them to somebody as a present, um, give them to uh, you know, a friend or a family member, tell them that you paid full price for them and uh, yeah, th they, they, will, they will love you forever. I can't believe the price on those. If you don't pick those up today, you're missing a trick. And if you don't buy them at that price, you're never gonna buy them. Uh, hello to Gilmore, he says, hello Ben, Corinne, Susie, the CC team and Crafty Peeps, Washington from Michigan. In three hours, my 10-year-old Cara is going to test for her first degree black belt in karate. First degree at, te at 10? That's amazing. 10 years old, first degree black belt in karate. Wow, that is, wow, isn't it? Wow. I mean, it's not that, is it? It's not that. Black belt in origami, me. Uh, <laughs> I actually did one of the first, um, do you have to do public speaking when you're at school, like little public no. speaking exams? Oh, I did. You went to a posher school than me. We, we had to do public speaking exams and uh, one, of the, one of the first public Stop speaking it. exams I ever actually did, I did one on the university boat race and the second time I did one, I, did, I actually did one on origami. Wow. Yeah, on how it all came about. I can't remember how it all came about. It was 35 years ago. What are you talking about? I can't remember what happened last week. But I actually made a um, origami swan um, during my presentation. I'll always remember that. And my, my mum had actually um, folded the bit of paper for me. So that, you know, if I got a bit nervous during the presentation, I knew, I'd sort of go, oh, look, hang on a second, just a, a swan. Uh, yeah, so yeah, black belt in origami. Uh, <laughs> quite funny to think about that now that I did that all those years ago and here I am now getting crafty with you uh, each and every day what was that oh um yeah Gilmore um, yeah uh, feel free later on we don't have to but we'd love to see a picture of uh, Cara with a black belt if you can that'd be amazing 
Uh, Lily says, good morning, Ben, Corrie, team, and all my crafty friends. I'm really looking forward to the show. And uh, Laurie joins us also from Wisconsin. Um, let's have a look at the four designs that you're going to get within this collection, and then we'll go through the whole process um, with Corrie as well. I, I, We'll show you the designs here. I don't think um, the, the boards actually do these um, a great level of service when it comes to the actual effect that they create, but you'll, you'll see with um, Corinne in just a few moments' time um, all the different things that you can do with these. Um, just so that you know all the different ones, if you want to go on the two fur, this is the, um, the Regal Diamond, so giving you that gorgeous pop-out effect. And I suppose as well, obviously these have been designed, Corinne, to give this effect, but if you just wanted to use these as a oh, matting yeah, and layering panel, perfect. <laughs> Perfect oh, matte and layering um, dies. So yes, you can use those and it wouldn't take much to snip them out of the card at all. That one there is the uh, Majestic Damask. It's 20 dies in total, so you get five uh, within each of the four collections. Love that, the uh, Grande Circle. I suppose again with the um, edging that you've got, a chance for you to um, thread um, you know, little bits and pieces through there as well, should you wish to do that. And then lastly in the collection is your uh, Baroque oval um, so it's a 20 percent saving um, same saving that we had when we launched these back on the 7th uh, platinum members you're at 25.57 or 32 dollars 76 but let's have a look at these because you've obviously already described um, lots of different ways to use them um, so they're a very versatile collection these aren't they, they really are let me grab back the one that shows you the sort of original concept so the original concept is you cut them out of a piece of card and then score it um, into that sort of M shape and then you put it inside your card base so that they, it then just pops out just like that so that was the original concept so when our Leanne was working with the team to design these that was the design she was working on so yeah. you pop it in and then it just pops out like that but we're going to do something a little bit different this this Afternoon? I thought uh, it was still morning. Yeah, it afternoon. is afternoon. We're going to show you. So, as you said, there are 20 dies in total because each die set gives you five dies. You get this first die, this worker die, that, as you can see, when you come round here, I don't know if you can see just top and bottom, just where my hand is, the die actually breaks. Oh, we're coming in, we're coming in. There we go. Can you see just here? Yeah. There's a break in the die and a break in the die just down at the bottom as well. We'll just put a little notch on so that you can see, but that is where the die breaks. So that is what stops it from cutting out of your cardstock. But as Ben was saying, if you do want to use this as a mat and layer, that is the smallest little snip that you need to do to actually remove it. And then you've got your next foundation die, you've got your main detail, and then you have two internal mats and layers. And it doesn't matter which of the shapes that you go for, this is the configuration you're going to get in them all. So I've got a piece of card and I've just scored down the middle, so you don't need to, to fold it in half yet, but I'm just going to show you. So that is the halfway point. I'm put that like that. Let me just see if, where's my bone folder? I've got one in my crafty bag just here. And then I can just burnish on that so on so that's the first one and on the second on the other side I've just marked the halfway point top and bottom and I'm just going to I just did it with pencil those pencil lines will rub out but remember we were saying you've got those little notches that means that I can exactly line that up just there I've got myself a piece of tape and I'm just going to make sure that that's lined up and I'm just going to put a piece of tape over there and I'm going to put, I put two pieces of tape because it would very easily move. Mm. Now, I've got my plate and I could do this in my large um, plate, but I'm going to use my small plate. So pop it onto the cutting plate and normally we'd then put magnetic shim, plastic cutting plate and your top plate. Now, if I do that, there's a lot of pressure in there and I might put marks on my car. So I'm actually going to take my magnetic shim out. This is a really, it's a basic shape. Yeah. I can't do it that way. Oh, I have to do it like that. It's all right. I, for, I was forgetting what I was doing. Actually, just a minute. Can I do it that way so that I don't have to fold my card in half? Oh, I can. I can just get it on. Let me do it like that. Let me just do it like that. There we go. I didn't want to have to... I was forgetting which machine I'd got in front of me. Uh, and okay. I was turning my plates around. So, what I'm do done is I've, t I've taken out a plate so I've not got as much pressure. But, because it's a simple shape, let me turn that over. That's not come near. Why is that not even marked it? 
Oh. I've done this loads of times. I'm going to have to put a magnetic shim in. Oh. That felt really... It made a... Have I got the right plates? Yeah. I've done this so many times and I've never put... Let's just see what that... Oh. It... Normally, I take that magnetic shim out. Every time I've done these, I've taken that out, but I could hear that wasn't grabbing. No, it did that okay. time. You did that time. OK, ignore what I was saying, but normally I do. It just didn't grab then. Oh. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this tape off. If you can, have a go at trying to do it in your machine without the um, magnetic shim, because that's what I normally do with these, mm. but just didn't work in that one. So now you can see... Oh, look at that piece of tape still stuck there. Just a t word of... A piece of advice is take that off very carefully, because that little gap yeah. is really small if you sort of just yank your die off you could just rip it there so you know all i've done is i've just taken it off very carefully i'm now just going to rub that little pencil mark out i'm just holding it still so i don't rip there we go and then i'm also got a little bit of adhesive on so i'm just going to use my picky sticky pickup tool just to get rid of any adhesive there we go makes it a lot neater yeah. so all I need to do now is bend that over on that I haven't even had to score it yeah because it's such a small piece I can just bend that over and I'm just going to bend that over and it, it's it the way it's scored it's almost like a double score and then I can come back in with this one just here so that's now made you can see oh let me bring it that way that pop-out element. I'm just going to move my mat over because I'm drifting to one side. There we go. Can you see? Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. So what we need to do now is we need to use some of our other dies. And I'm going to use the foundation die. And we're going to cut that one out first. Let's pop that one on my mat. So we can cut that one through. And then that's going through there. So then the next one I'm going to do well, that's good, so I can get it ready, is I've got my detail one, and I'm going to cut it out of our Mint Centura Pearl. OK. Now, I always used to worry if it would, you know, how it would cut, because you've got a detailed die and you've got, you know, a coated cardstock, but I promise you it'll cut perfectly. So that's one to cut. That's my first layer. Then I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to go in with my Centura Pearl, so we can pop that one onto our cutting plate. Put that one on there. And then run that one through. Whilst you're cutting, we'll say a few more hellos to Susan who joins us. Susan Rushton says, Hi, Corinne Ben, the CTV crew and social media superstar. Still be oh, it's still before sunrise here in Redondo Beach, California, but it's a lovely day for all wow. things that pop out. Uh, Felicia says, Hi, everyone, from Toledo, Ohio. Beth joins us from North Dakota. Kimberly says, Good morning, fellow crafters from sunny North Carolina. And Sarah uh, in Australia says, uh, Susie, tell the guys in the gallery I had a great big smile on my face when Ben was doing their hellos. It has made my night. Oh, you're welcome. You're wel they always say hello. Hello. <laughs> no, but you do do it the way I do it. Hello. As Charlotte goes, do it, Charlotte. Hey. This time. This time. Hey. <laughs> that's, what you, that's how you did it. Hey. Hello. Hey. Uh, Mary Rena says, I love the twist and pop dies. Good morning to Janet Boyd from Michigan. Barbara Rostovsky joins us from Buffalo. Can you let us know as well on this show, which is your favourite uh, of these collections? Which is Top of the Pop Outs? Uh, top that's of the what Pop I'll... Outs. That, eh? Wow. Uh, uh, let's, let's, let's find out which is your favourite. That, that, we'll crown uh, the winner at the end. Yeah? That sandwich has certainly pepped you up, hasn't it? Oh, yeah. Laura bought me a sandwich. It did happen in between shows. She brought... She, um, she brought me a sandwich. It was, um, what do you call it? Not like a French baguette, like a tiger, 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 tiger loaf baguette. Yeah. Do you have tiger, tiger bread in the US? It's so nice. And she put cheese and um, uh, chutney, cheese and chutney, bag of crisps and a little chocolate bar. The Doc Mac came along as well. He was very pleased, wasn't he? He, uh, he didn't stop, did he? He didn't. <laughs> so he's been running around everywhere. Oh, yeah, he was. He was going. I don't know. He normally, he's quite calm, but he was very excited to be to be here. I'm Johnny just glad didn't I didn't bring see. Him in. Huh? Johnny didn't see any of that because he <laughs> yeah. had, he had locked himself yeah. outside. Uh, Corin was in the cafe, so I uh, introduced Corin to Laura, Daisy, and Mac, and then um, uh, then Jake was in here, 
setting up. So I said hello because Jake's met Laura before. And then I thought, oh, we'll go, go in the gallery and see Johnny. I went in there. It's, it's a bit like the Marie Celeste. There's no one in there. Like Johnny's place, there was like there was a, a bag of crisps. There was like a few crisps left in there. And then the, he had like this uh, this bag where he's like his pasty or whatever had been with some crumbs. But Johnny was nowhere to be seen. <laughs> I said, where's he gone? I thought he'd gone to the shops with uh, Charlotte. But what had happened is he'd nicked out of the back to go take a phone call and locked himself out the building. So. <laughs> <laughs> this could this could this could have been an interesting show because we'd lock the we locked the door yeah um because it's limited people here so it's better to have the door locked it is because we because some people still think we have a shop here yes occasion well usually most days we get somebody walk in yeah um, we, we had someone walk in on, on, on the last show so I'm oh, in, like, so, so where, where, I'm obviously looking at the screen now. If I look literally to there, I can. That's the door that, that um, you can walk in. Studio door. Then just the other side of the corridor, the door to walk in. And some chap walked in earlier on, looking for the. Looking All right, miss that. Shopping. Well, when they walk in, I just have to ignore them because a lot of them don't know that we're doing sort of live TV. So can you imagine if they actually just like walked in here? Um, oh, oh yeah, they have, haven't they? Yeah, sorry, they have previously done that, but that, that that's what happened. Okay, uh, so anyway, I've back got. To it. I've got my mink um, Centura pearl and I've just literally gone round the edge with some gilding wax so that looks really really pretty and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get uh, my tape runner because this is the easiest way so I'm just going to go lightly over there with my tape runner which is by far and away the quickest way to do these just over all of that detail all the way down there and then I can go with my regular one just down the down the center and then oop, build those one on top of the other and I love this it um you know it looks like you've you've gilded that mink centura pearl doesn't that look gorgeous and while you were chatting I just cut out the next level of the mats and layers and it's really clever because it would have been easy just to have cut that straight but we've actually cut that can you see the perfect shape so it follows, you see how it follows mm. that shape absolutely brilliantly. And onto there, I have got, and it's gone away somewhere. Let me see if I can find it in, ah, oh, there it is. I have got a sentiment from our Everyday Sentiments. Oh, yeah. So this is the hello from the Everyday Sentiments. And again, you could, I'm going to do it with the wet glue just to show that, you know, there's lots of different ways um, to attach your things yes I could have done my dotty tape pen or I can just do it with my wet glue we can pop that best thing to do, give it a little bit of a tap on the table get rid of any excess and then I can pop that one on at a nice angle and that's going to sit brilliantly on there so that's okay. my embellishment and once we've done that we're going to take that and I've got some foam pads and I'm just going to turn that over and I'm just going to pop some foam pads on the back. There we go, one there, all the way round. And then I've got my element that we cut out. And then, oh, here we go, take off those foam pads. This is nearly done. So this, you know, this is so close to being done on there. Pop that on there. A little bit of elevation looks lovely. Now we've done exactly the same with our mint centura pearl this side. Again, a little bit of my um, gilding um, wax. Mm -hmm. And then I can pop this one on. So I've just switched over to my all purpose because this is just regular cream card and this is the back of my Centura Pearl. So it's not got, it, it's not near the coating, so I can pop that on because obviously with it being solvent based, we wouldn't normally use, um, and we wouldn't put the, um, the all purpose near the coating because it would just ruin the coating. And then I have got from Nature's Garden, Spring is in the Air, I've got the doily border. Again, cut out in that same mink. And again, I could go down with my wet glue, but just for speed, Let's take that all the way down, just down there, and then we can pop that over to the right, just there. And then the final little bits I want to do is I have got a little bow, and we can pop that one. Let's just put a little piece of tape just there. I could use my tacky glue, and then I've got a few little 
bits just here that I've coloured in some pink cardstock that I've just gone in with my MG2, my bubblegum, and I've just put little coloured bodies in the centre. So let's just pop a little bit there, tap that, and then we can pop one and then another one. There we go. Pop that one. And... Very pretty. It is very mm. pretty, isn't it? Really delicate. So as I said, this is our Majestic Damask, which I really love. So I'm going to pop little glue down there and along there. The great thing about tacky glue is you've got the time for it to set. So you can actually go in and put all your glue in and know that it's not going to dry, it'll still be ready to go. So I can then come in with my pearls. One, two, oh, I've not got the steadiest of hands. Uh, oh, that one nearly ran away with me, <laughs> from me. There we go, pop that one. And that one. There we go. Flip that one over, pick that one up, put it in the centre there. Doesn't that look lovely? Just that little accent picking up that colour all the way through. Really lovely. Come on, come off my... I've got a little bit of glue on my tweezers. That's it. We can straighten those up once they're all on. Make sure the glue's off. And the next one. Are those the back-to-front tweezers that... Yes. Yeah, pterodactyl tweezers. Is that what you call them? But they look like a pterodactyl, don't they? Yeah. Squeezer mm. tweezers, I call them. Squeezy, Squeezy tweezers. Tw Squeezer tweezers. Do you know what? It's got to a point now where I, if I try to, for crafting, try to use regular tweezers... Oh, you can't use them? I can't do it. I get all... <laughs> I get in a muddle. I can still do it if I'm plucking my eyebrows or something like that, but not for... Not you can for still do what? You, what? Pluck your eyebrows. You know, oh. regular tweezers. Yeah. It must be second nature, but that not hurts, for... That hurts, doesn't it? Oh, I love doing it. Do you, oh. oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, it's the best. Is it? Oh, yes. There we go. <laughs> How is that the best? It makes you... Not, by the way, I don't pluck my eyebrows regularly. I just have a couple of gray, really long grey hairs which grow now and again, oh. which you have to... That's, it's painful. No. No? Go and have them waxed and then tweeze. Absolute bliss. Another thing to add to the list of things to potentially get <laughs> Corinne for Secret Santa this year, along with the uh, tea bags from Harrods. <laughs> Uh, I'm waiting for these dies to arrive to Susan Rushton. I cannot wait to have a play with them. Uh, they are amazing. And again, you're going to get, uh, well, you've got the launch show. You've got the demos on this show as well to, uh, to use. Uh, this looks so pretty. Corinne says, Mary, uh, Reno, Janet Boyd says, I love the regal diamond die. And I love that mint colour, says Beth Valone as well. Lovely, lovely project. Let's also say hi to Lillian, who's joined us. Hi to Jennifer from Michigan. And Linda Ryan says, happy Sunday, Ben. Happy Sunday to you. Uh, Corinne, the socials, and my lovely crafty friends. If you want to go for the Ornate pop up dies, these are the four that you can get within this collection. £25.57 is the deal here, or £32.76. If you uh, want to grab these launched on the 7th of June, uh, you can buy two for £18 or two for $23 if you want to do it that way as well. But uh, just a lovely set. Uh, of dies, like we said, if you don't want to use the uh, the pop-out element of these, they will layer up beautifully. Um, just to pop on the front of a card is a, a lovely sort of layered panel to pop a sentiment in that way. So many, many uses for them, all four on screen for that price right there. Now, this next collection, if you do not, well, if you don't already have these, I, I insist that you buy them today because they are so much fun. This collection, and the like, I could understand. If you're, if you're thinking, well, I like the look of them, but I can't stretch to £78 today or $90, which is what they're worth. I could understand that. We're giving you an 80% saving on these, practically giving them away. Um, if you don't yet have them, uh, please put them in your basket today and take them off our hands because this is an absolute steal of a deal. They're worth £12.99 each normally. You're getting the full set of the six in here in total for less than the price of one if you're platinum. They're really easy to use. We had these um, on with Sarah very recently and she was describing these as um, her favorite set of kind of like um, kinetic dies because you've got um, the dies here which are going to allow you to create this amazingly brilliant, cool, fun, 
pop-out effect. It's really, really simple to do. Nothing complicated about it at all. Plus, you'll get a selection of other dies to go um, with each of the sets. So you've got a balloon which pops out. How gorgeous is this uh, wonderful fl uh, floral? When you see it, look at that, that spiral effect. And what I love about these the most, having things inside um, the front of your card, like I'll show you in just a few moments' time. You know, you've got a beautiful decorated outer of the card, and then nobody expects to open it up and see something like this pop out. It's really cool. And again, such an easy effect to achieve because the die do all of the work for you. Uh, butterflies, of course, in here as well. Wouldn't be a set without those, would it? And again, you know, if you want to multi-cut these, lengthen them. A lot of people were chatting about using these for things like um, decorations, for parties, for streamers, those kind of things too. You've got the star shapes in here as well. Look at that. Wow. So cool. So much fun and a really, really easy to achieve effect. And then lastly in this set, you're going to get uh, that beautiful heart. And again, look how that pops out. So simple, so easy to achieve with the dies. Each set comes with their own little embellishment dies and a sentiment. But what I mean is, when you look at um, this card here, for example, I like this because um, whoever's popped this one together has used uh, you know, one die cut on the front there to sort of create a slightly uh, sort of layered effect. But then when you open it up, you're not sort of expecting that, are you? But it's so brilliantly done. That's the heart. I'll quickly show you this one as well. Um, Again, you're not expecting anything to be inside the card there with the front cut on the diagonal with that uh, beautiful lead uh, topper. But then we go boom and you've got a floral which pops out. And then uh, lastly for now, to show you this one. Again, beautiful card in its own right. That's amazing. You send that to someone. They love all the decoration you've done on the outside with all those stunning butterflies, a wonderful sentiment. I thought of you today. Boom. Doubled up. Ah, yeah doubled up the butterflies. Um, so it's such a super fun set. And that price today, honestly, is unbelievable. I can't remember uh, an 80% saving like this before. So please don't miss out. Uh, £15.58, £17.94 if you're platinum. We're at £12.46 or $14.34. That needs to go into everybody's basket, certainly, because uh, it is the deal of the show. Also proving really popular on the show are the, um, the pop-out scenes. And again, this is a lovely set uh, at a lovely, lovely price. It should be £64, $80, £15.20 today if you're platinum, or $18.80. And this is a great example of the different ways that you can use this set. If you want to just kind of uh, create a scene to go on the front of your card and then uh, layer it up, then you can. But the whole effect that you're hopefully going to create with these is uh, that scene popping out uh, of the centre of your card. And again, super, super simple as you can see here, just to achieve that effect. Um, again, this one, another great example of the way that you can sort of just layer it up on the front of your card as a nice little scene that way. But then once again, once you open it up, uh, you get that really cute scene. And it's um, super simple again to be able to achieve all of these different um, styles. And again here, layer it up on the front as a nice little topper pop it into the center uh, as a really cute pop out scene. I'll show you all of the um, different sets that you're going to get here. And bear in mind, again, 92 elements for £15 is absolutely bonkers. You've got something for every occasion. Uh, these are normally £7.99 each. You're getting the full set for that price on the screen and you've got something for every occasion. So you've got your party vibes. And what I love about this, again, as you saw in just some of those other cards there, you'll get like a little um, central stamp and die almost that if you want, you can dangle from the uh, center of your pop out scene, which again, just creates, I think, a really fun effect. That's one all about, yeah, there's all about your parties with your microphone there, look for a bit of karaoke and your, uh, your glasses. You've got this one here for um, anyone who loves a bit of camping, that gorgeous camping scene. Uh, you make me a happy camper. Uh, travel not to escape life. Huh. And but so, oh, but so life doesn't escape you. I see. I get it. I get it. Sorry. This one's fun. Who loves a bubble bath? Me. Have we had this chat about baths and showers? We have, haven't we? Baths? No. Showers? Oh, just, just me. That's me then. What are you a bath person? I love a bath. Do you love a bath? Yeah, bath, bath, love it. Bath, bath. Yeah, shower maybe first thing in the morning, but oh, I know. I sit in the bath for about an hour. I get cold. Huh? I get cold. No, but you run it really hot. You run it. Charlotte. No, that is disgusting. She just went, it's like, <laughs> she's just bathing in your own grime. <laughs> yeah, how dirty are you? Oh, you don't do it. She doesn't do it, she showers. Anyway, um, new home, 
Our home. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Charlotte's just going, daddy, Mackie, in my ear. Uh, you've got country, <laughs> country village. Enjoy the little things. Uh, this one here is your time to celebrate again for all of those parties uh, and celebrations and then last but by no means least uh, is that beautiful secret garden so again create that uh, pop-out scene within your card uh, create the kind of like dangling elements within the scene as well or as we've already seen on a few of the cards that I've shown you um, you can just almost um, mat and lay these up to create a 2d effect on the front of your card as well that is a nonsense price. I'm, <laughs> I'm insisting on you buying everything today. I insist that you buy the spiral pop-outs. I insist that you buy the pop-out scene uh, stamp and die collection as well if you haven't yet got these. Because um, that, again, is another 70% uh, saving. Um, so, uh, I mean, buy it all is basically what I'm saying. That's unbelievable, isn't it? It is, I isn't it? I see you looking I, puzzled at the screen. I know. I was just working that one out yeah wow 7.99 each normally you're getting all of them for 15 pounds 20 or 80 so less than the, so you're getting all of them for less than the price of two yeah, yeah. pretty much yeah brilliant yeah. Yeah. brilliant should we have a quick look yeah, at what you can it. be making with them i've been that's why i wasn't paying attention because i was going through all of these so you've got these gorgeous little cards so this one says uh, you make me a happy camper yep. and look at how that just pops out on the inside and as ben was saying you can have the little elements dangling down the center if you want then i've got the birthday one which i love that one which looks so lovely and just using the stamps as well as standalone stamps to create your own background paper looks beautiful enjoy the little things is our gorgeous little cottage and sort of castle-y bit beautiful on there and then what else we've got hello beautiful when we're going to use some of this element as well today i'm going to show you how you can combine two. Ooh, well i like that paper behind with the clouds that's nice isn't it oh it is pretty yeah you sit do you, do you recognize that oh i do but i'm not going to be able to tell no. you where it's from no. i think it's one of, is it not one of the um your craft papers I'm, i i wouldn't i wouldn't know mm. it's yeah you could have a look and then we've got this one i love with the little hat so good again using the stamps uh, like you said bubble bath there we go know what to put on ben's card next time absolutely with his little rubber ducky <laughs> and i love this look at this with all of those autumn tones and you know bring in your foam flowers and then we have got that changes it completely by changing the tone but those are sort of your traditional pop outs but you can also, as Ben was saying, use them on the front. Now, doesn't that look beautiful? Just by cutting it out on the front. Or we've got our lovely... Now, this is, what, this is a proper shaker card. Look at all of those sequins behind there. Mm -hmm. Look at the backing paper that's been created with the stamps. And then you can tie that in Yay! with the pop-out in look the middle. Look at the rubber ducky dangling. Absolutely perfect. And the last one I want to show you, which is the concept that we're going to be doing in a way today, is you can have them on your um, sort of diorama cards, just like that. And if you think, I don't do colouring, colouring's not for me, hopefully this morning we showed you that you yeah. can. But if you don't, the card we're about to make now is going to show you how you don't need to be a colourist to be able to make a fantastic card. Brilliant. All right, I'll put those away and then should we make the card? Absolutely right, yeah. Just okay. Reiterate again, that price is a 70% saving, £15 or 1880 uh, We are in uh, the middle of a masterclass, so if you do have any questions you want to throw our way, uh, feel free to. Um, so far, we are uh, looking pretty good. Let us know which of these collections you've got already as well and uh, tell everybody else why you love them um, so we can, uh, we can spread the reason for jumping in and grabbing these collections, particularly, as I say, these spirals and this pop-out scene stamp collection too, which we're going to demo with now. OK, so the first one we're going to do is we're going to use the Into the Woods collection. So you've got the lovely little um, deer and the squirrel and the trees. And then you've also got the stamps. We're not going to use those stamps, put those away, but we're just going to use the die. Four and a half inch square of black card. And then I can put this, try and make that as central as I can. So I'm going to just eyeball it there. Now this is waste, so that's where I'm going to put my tape. And then we can run that through our die cutting machine just as we normally would. So that's going to go through there. Now, the second piece of card I have got is 
five and oh no it's not it's five by nine and a half inches oh let me just see what this has done well it's in my hand so that piece will then just pop out there we go how about that perfect isn't yeah. that lovely mm -hmm. really really cute so we have another piece of card now as i said it is five by nine and a half inches so i'm then going to get let me just get my scoring tool one i want one with a the little bits on the end which is the one i want that's the one i like i like this one with the small ball tool and then like the blade so what i'm going to do is from this end i'm going to score at one and a quarter so that's one and a half so that's one and a quarter there and also two and a quarter so i've got an extra quarter of an inch on here so that's because we've just gone up another inch now i also need to score at the other end at seven and a quarter and eight and a quarter but the easiest way to do it is to turn it around and then do my one and a quarter again and my two and a quarter i just find that easier there we go once i've got it burnished i can go in with my bigger um, ball tool and just extend that so that one just sort of stretches the fibers and then that one really gives it a good score so then we can pop that down and i'm just going to fold this for one minute just to really try and yeah just to get that there because because it's going to go through the die cutting machine it will flatten some of those so if i just burnish it i know that they're going to be um, visible afterwards so i can still do this on my smaller mat what i'm going to do now is i'm going to use my secret garden okay which is absolutely gorgeous and we're going to do exactly the same on this one find the middle so i just find the middle of this panel because that panel is just a little bit smaller than that one can you see so if we line them up i can actually use that to make sure that that is in the same uh, place oh yes okay let's oh no that's not in the right way there we go just there yep that looks let me just double check when i do but i think that was pretty accurate so we can then do exactly the same tape on the waist and then quite happy with that yep and run that one through now you could just leave it at that point but what i thought i would do is i would bring in a white gel pen because i really do love using my white gel pen and let's have a look at this one so this should just lift off yet yeah, look at that oh yeah isn't that gorgeous so all i'm going to do now is i'm just going to grab a piece of this make sure my pet oh yeah that's running nicely sometimes i find they just take a minute to warm up and then i can just come down here and i can just put a little bit of a shadow so i'm just going to do it all the way down one side just pop this just around there so it just sort of highlights highlights it just making sure i'm going down the same direction all the way down and then we can come round just to highlight and you'll see once we put it all together it will just make sense and we can even come round here there we go just like that so can you just see it's just sort of framed it a little bit yeah and let's do exactly the same with a little bird i'm just going to take my bangle off because i'm clacking on the table i always forget and put it on so let's do exactly the same on here and then we can just come round here just doing the same sort of drop shadow on here there we go you can even just come around like that lots of love for this set coming in as well um this is my favorite set says barbara uh mary says these dies one of my favorites such sweet scenes uh, jill b i love this because you guys obviously shop a lot with us uh lol says jill b i've been on such a shopping spree over the last few weeks i can't remember if i've already bought these <laughs> <laughs> i would say at this price buy them again yeah worst case you get two sets and you work uh, twice as quick um, and Tim just says, I have the, which scoreboard did you use? Then? He says, I have the small scoreboard. Yeah. Which I guess that, is the one you've just Yeah, that's used. the one I just used. How do you work out the measurements, e.g. one and a quarter, etc.? What? Because the measurements are at the top, yep. the numbers. Yeah. So all I did was 
there was there was the one yeah and there's two yeah so that bigger that protruding line is, is half. the half yeah and then there's three three lines in between so halfway between is one and one and a half has to be one and a quarter yeah so because i've used it for a while i i've done what you could do tim is and i don't want to do it to this because it isn't mine but what i might you might be tempted to do is uh, just yeah. write a quarter a half three quarters yeah just do it on one set and then it will remind you so if you so basically these are eights yeah so if you want it on one and a quarter so you, or anything in a quarter you go in two if you want it anything and a half you go in four anything in three quarters you go in six yeah it's the same with the because um, yeah. I've got like the larger guillotine at home and that's got a sc um, the, the same sort of measurements on and I, I know what you mean to it can be a little bit not confusing but sometimes the brain doesn't quite compute but yeah it's just worth men worth remembering you've got the the eight score line so obviously um, a you know, quarter got, is you, two two in eighths it. is your quarter four eighths is your half uh, so you've got yeah all the markers in between um, so hopefully that explains it a little bit for yeah. you. I know I did that quite quick and I forget sometimes. No, but, but you, like, like you say, you do it all the time. So you, I do it all the time, so it, it's just, yeah, it's I just don't even have to there. think now. I think if I was doing eighths, I would just pause for a second just because I don't do as many things with eighths on. Yeah. But yeah, just because it, cause it was quarters, I just whip it down. So now you can see that one sits absolutely gorgeous. So what we've got here is we've got a back piece and this is five by seven and a half inches. So this is the same height as that one, but basically this was uh, nine and a half. So what we've done is we've taken off that the equivalent of those two one inch panels. So if this one is nine and a half, this is seven and a half, because what will happen is if we take off those one inch panels, we put that onto there, and if I show you, oops, lift it up, that is a nice tight right angle there. Yeah. Because we it's exactly the same barring those those one inch panels just there. So now we just need to decorate this up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one and I'm going to do what I did before. So let's just find. So this was, what did we say? Was seven and a half. So seven and a half, three and a half, three and three quarters is my center point. So I'm just going to, I'll do it. That's my center point just there. Let's turn it around. Three and three quarters is my center point there. Just to, so it's just easier so I can see it. And what I will then do is I will take this piece of card and I'm going to pop this on with my, um, all purpose glue. Now, we haven't really gone into it. So all purpose glue is a solvent based glue. Yeah. And it actually dries really firm. So what that means is it's going to add extra rigidity to my card base. So this is, I think it's from my Dancing Dragonflies, which is absolutely gorgeous. Is that one? So let's make sure oh, that wow. one is in the middle. So. I thought when I saw uh, uh, that off screen a few moments ago that that was a piece of vellum. <laughs> no. There we go. Paper. But just by putting that marker on there, you see, I've used my, my glass mat. Mm. Can you see? Because if that's there, if that's on the eight inch mark, four inches either side. Yeah. So it's, it just helps me to make sure everything's level. So then I can get my first scene and we're going to just put some foam pads on the back. Let me see. I don't think I've got any more large foam pads. I should have grabbed some more. I'll have to do it with, do it with the foam tape. There we go. So what you can do on there. I'm probably going to get you some if you like. No, it's fine. Foam no. tape is absolutely perfect. And what you can do is we've talked about this before. See if I can see a black pen. See if I can quickly see a black, black. Where are the blacks? There must be a black somewhere. What are you looking for now? Black pen. Oh, that's watercolour. Where's the black on? There's no blacks there at all. I was just going to show you how you can then hide the fact that you put foam. Ah, that is true black, found it. Oh. Right, so I've got my foam, my, put my foam on. I've got my white tape on, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my black pen. Can you see? And I'm just running it across there. So if I show you on that side, oh, is that when so you look down, so it's just, because everything about this card is nice and yeah. Dark. So if you, I know it's a little bit of the way down, but it's just those finishing touches that will actually just make a difference. 
We might have as well, I don't know if we've still got this, but um, who is it who brings us the black uh, foam? That might still be on the, that might still be on the website. Yes. Um, I do, you know, people say, well, why do you want black foam? But when you're doing a card like this, it does make all the difference. But if you haven't got black foam, just get your alcohol pen and just colour in yeah. the top. Oops. So we can take, put that back in there. And then I can see, just going to put my head over there. There we are. There we are. Isn't that super cute? So now we've just raised that up a little bit. And then I'm going to bring back in my panel. And I have got a couple of little elements. So I have got some more of my paper, which looks really, really cute. And then I've got some panels down the side. And again, it's so much easier to do this while it's all um, flat. Yes. We always talk about this. If you can, do your decoration before you put everything together. Oop. Um, Cheryl Ludwig is just saying this is so, so beautiful. Tim C says, Brill, thank you for answering the question. Um, and Jill B says, I'm a newbie who needed some basics. So this is Jill who went overboard on the shopping. Uh, I, I went a bit overboard. I'm waiting for a totally Tiffany order to help get organised. Oh, uh, brilliant. And Mary Reno, thank you for this, um, says, Ben and Corinne, um, I received the card. So Corinne, you know sometimes I nick your card. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Nick them. Uh, I received the card that Corinne made that I won on Facebook. Thank you. Uh, the card is even more stunning in person. Everyone in my house was so impressed. Thank you so much. I'm not oh, quite sure you. which one that was in the end, Mary. You'll have to remind me. But if it was a Corinne make, it was bound to be stunning. Thank you. That's very kind of you to say so. And then that one's just going to frame that just there. Can you see how perfectly that phrase and we've just used my nesting circles and again remember what I was saying if your glue runs out just give it a little bit of a rub off and it just rubs off just mass rubs off completely and that's going to go on there so that's add it that will add once that dries a little bit of extra strength now I could use my um, all purpose but I'm going to just because because we're on air I'm just going to use my tape pens for this just for a bit of speed my again like i said my all purpose would be ideal for this if i just and i've got some little clips i could just put my little clips on just to um hold it while it sets now one of the good reasons about cutting that shy is i can, when i come to put this on that's not in the way does that make sense so i'm attaching that to the back panel not to that raised element and then we can put this one on just line it up just there Make sure it lines up all the way down. Oh, just lining that up. There we go. Lining that up. And so now this will still fold flat, can you see, for yeah. postage. But look at how that pops up like that. Now, also from the, get it the right way around, from the secret garden, I've stamped out the little butterfly and coloured it in. So all I've used is one pen. This is what we were talking about earlier. So with our purple blend all over with the lightest and then just a little bit of color with the next ones so it just shows how things you look you know because we did color me happy things we pick up in our color me happy still are relevant in you know when we're doing like this the pop outs and everything yeah. like that it all is relevant um, and it just helps you you know learn those different bits there we go, a little bit of all purpose on there. And again, this is from the Secret Garden. Okay. We've just got the Hello Beautiful and trimmed it down. And again, that black, keeping the black and the white colour. Just put that on there. What that little clips do you use, says Barbara? What little clips? I've got them just here. I just bought a bag of sewing clips. Can yeah, you we've see got them there? those on our um, website as well. Oh, I've had those for ages, yeah. but yeah. Little uh, yeah. purple, the little purple... Oh, ours purple, are they? Yeah, I've had mine yeah. for so long now. But I just find they're really, really handy if you just need to... So if, I, if this had been wet glue, I would have just literally clipped it like that. And then it would have held it till it dries. It's just brilliant, especially if you're doing boxes and things like that and you want to use a wet glue. Pop that on there. And then the final little bit, just to do... You can either use wet or your um, regular pearls just to put... Just, oh, it's coming this way around, so I'm not trying to go one on top of the other. Put those just there, spinny that one round, and then I can do top. 
oh, my, my words slipped a little bit because I've just used the um, dimensional glue on there rather than a foam pad. Let's put that straight again. That will be touch dry in half an hour, properly dry in 24 hours. But how about like that? That's amazing. Isn't that isn't lovely? It? Yeah. I just like putting the little bit of the little white elements on, just makes it pop, doesn't it? No, no, it really does. It gives that sort of um, silhouette effect. Just right. to show you as well, if you look down there, you can't see that foam tape look. It should be, it's down there. Where? It's down there, look. Whereabouts? Just down there. Where? But you can't, I can't see, see it. Because I put black on. Oh, yeah. There you go. Perfect. Thank you. It's going to be another tough vote, isn't it? It's going to be another tough vote later on. Uh, beautiful card, says BJ Clark, who has uh, joined us from Oysterville, Washington. Uh, another beautiful day at the beach, you say. How lovely. Mm. Um, Mary Reno says, uh, oh, the card that we gave away. Yes, I remember now. It was the blue easel card with the four regible dies in white with the dragonfly resist paper inked in blue. I remember. Uh, like I said, says Mary, when you see the card in person with all that I mentioned, it is stunning. And talking about stunning, you guys are loving that last make. Uh, love the card, says Laurie. Uh, card of the show says ah uh, Susie you can't call it that early wow. a, you don't know what Corinne's going to do in the second hour uh, absolutely stunning card Corinne says Mary Pat Jill B says simple but stunning Corinne um, and Barbara says thank you Ben such a great idea what did I say oh the clips the clips so I thought well, what, what, what idea have I come up with <laughs> yes you're welcome um, oh and before we just we're going to take a little break in just a second um, because we're going to give you time to check out your baskets, but I thought I'd just quickly share you these photos. So, uh, Gilmore's daughter, Cara, is off for, she's only 10, but she's got her, her, her black belt, first, uh, first degree um, grading coming up this afternoon. Look at Cara! Wow! That, that, they get even more impressive, like, so there, look. And then... Is that the black belt? Yeah. But I think it's black belt, then you go first degree black belt, don't you? So oh, do you? Getting, Actually, I don't know. I don't you know. Get, like a, get like another, you get like another mark on your belt, I don't know. Ready for action. If you think that one's good, look at this. Ready? Yeah. Whoa! Oh, wow! That is like, I mean, I don't even know what you call that, but that just so is that, looks... That's her foot on the floor. I thought she was doing a handstand, but no, it's not. No, one foot on the floor, one in the air. Wow. I mean, that is unbelievable. That is impressive. Unbelievable. Ten years old. I think it's great as well that, like, you, you know, your kids are doing that kind of thing. I, I think it's, it's so good to see. Um, my daughter, uh, Daisy's doing a little bit of judo, but she's not quite, I don't think yet, at uh, doing um, that sort of standard. Oh, and, I know, I look, and there's my little doggy. That's before he came in earlier on. They sent me a picture. Look. There. Look. Sorry. Just, just there. Ah, oh, look at that. I shall show you some more pictures. Or we, no, we'll get you a break. Uh, right, uh, get your baskets checked out. If you've got the pop-out scenes uh, in your basket, get these checked out. For goodness sake, you know what I'm going to say? The spiral pop-outs, they need to go in your basket. Get them checked out. Head to the checkouts right now. Get checked out, and we'll come back for the second half of the show in just a few moments' time. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Quick buy, all your crafty must-haves in a flash. Put away your tape measure and fabric scissors. The Threaders Fabric Cutter offers accuracy and precision with every cut. This handy tool slices through fabric in a guillotine style. Its ergonomic design features a comfortable and protective handle. 
so it's safe and easy to use whether you're right or left-handed. Its 45 millimeter rotary blade will cut up to six layers of fabric at a time. So your sewing, quilting, and upholstery project times are cut down to size. It's equipped with a measuring guide in metric and imperial for a perfectly accurate cut every time. The built-in grid ruler has 30 degree, 45 degree, and 60 degree angle lines. So you can cut fabric on any angle, including the bias. Quick buy. All your crafting must-haves in a flash. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Quiet. Ah, the neighbors. I'm all out of Zoom. I'm so lost without you. I'm not, I'm not singing. I'm not singing. Lisa, if you email in, don't send a picture of your air fryer. Make sure it's something creative. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at CraftersCompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us. You give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. Joy, there's not a dry eye in the studio here. <laughs> Debbie's welling up. I'm welling up. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV. Create every day. Welcome back. Uh, well done if you checked out your basket during that little break. Uh, we've got more from our uh, pop-out masterclass in just a second, so don't pop out because uh, we want you to stay here with us. We have got those coming up later on, Second Chance Sunday, which is going to be a big old show. Lots of great items coming up there, actually. So if you've missed things um, like our launches this week, then uh, you'll be able to see those. But just to give you a bit of... Um, uh, a sort of a sneaky peek, if you like, as to what's coming up on Second Chance Sunday from six o'clock. We thought we'd show you a few picks uh, of items which are coming your way. Also during that show, don't forget, we will be doing the vote for the demo of the week, but launched back on the uh, 23rd, so three days ago, Thursday, the nesting frame dies. These proved so, so popular, flying out the door during the preview show we did in them on Wake Up Call, uh, and flew out the door as well uh, during the actual launch itself. Uh, you've got the three uh, rectangular uh, nesting frames and the two square nesting frames as well and they are so great for all sorts of different projects uh, the majority of you were talking about getting those though for um, scrapbooks and uh, memory albums and for a great excuse to be printing off photographs to create some really really gorgeous projects with uh, launch price 57.56 for our platinum members uh, if you're shopping in the uk 67 dollars exactly if you're shopping in the us and your platinum also a little bit later on we are going to be looking at your brand new craft kit box number 49 uh, which is the interchangeable scene dice 200 elements in total here and once again massive value for money i think a lot of you uh, jumped in grabbed that particularly those of you who collect the boxes never want to miss one now and this one again proving huge value for money at 19 pounds 99 or 19 dollars 96 if you're platinum also proved popular this week because we did the craft along on these with craig back on friday the timeless border die collection he created a gorgeous project which by the way is up for your vote on demo of the week in just a little bit so uh, we'll show you some um projects with that a little bit later on but a lovely collection of border dies to create some really cute effects with as you can see there you've got uh, gorgeous florals and dragonflies and butterflies and some foliage in there too six elements in total for 30 pounds 68 if you're platinum or 38 dollars 20. A um, few comments coming through. Lots of you enjoying the uh, photos we showed. Mary says, OMG, cute dog, Ben. Thank you. He is cute. He was causing a right old fuss though when he came in here. So we, we sent him home. Uh, Gilmore says, Ben, he, honestly, he was, I've never seen, normally he's quite, Charlotte, you know, but he was like, <laughs> running in there, running in there, running in there. He was all over the place. So yeah, he won't come in again. Uh, 
Gilwa says, Ben, you could do that sidekick after you snack your hip out of joint. What? <laughs> I know I can't, not at 10 and definitely not now. Love Mac. I could definitely not do what Cara was doing in that picture. I can barely get my... Try. <laughs> I haven't got jeans on, these are chinos. Okay, <laughs> don't wear jeans to work, what are you talking about? <laughs> That's as high as I can get. <laughs> oh, dear. I was going to ask you to do it, Corin, but no. Do you know? I've got shorts on as well. Oh. But no. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, still watching from bed, Ben, says Sarah. You've made me feel better. Oh, that's good to know. Um, I have not been too well today, but I'm feeling better now. So thank you for making me smile. Welcome. Uh, hugs and loving Corinne's demos today. A very talented lady. I just love Crafters TV, says Sarah. She is very, very talented. Um, and Gilmore says, oh, chatting to Rhonda. I was hoping John was going to pop out for you in this pop-out show. He's not, he's not here on a Sunday, I can, I can guarantee. Don't get excited, uh, John is not here and he will not be popping out. Uh, if you want to see Jake, we can get Jake to pop out a little bit later on. Talking about popping out, the Twist and Pops. These are my favourite of the um, pop-out dies that we do because they create such a cool, dramatic, amazing effect. And once again, if you look at these three cards, for example, on the outside, um, they're, they're beautifully decorated, right? So if you were to send these to somebody, they would be very, very happy indeed. They would love the time and effort that you put into all of these and how they all look. But the surprise element, of course, with all of these is then once your recipient gets them and opens them, kapow, they're going to get that pop-out element there. Um, and I'll show you all of these that you'll get in just a few moments' time. The brilliant thing about this as well, if you're seeing these for the first time, wham! is if you're looking at this and thinking, well, I love the idea of um, Twist and Pops, but they're probably very difficult to make. They're not. Kablamo. They're going <laughs> to cupcakes. I mean, it's a really, really simple process to be able to go through, and you get everything within the main bundle to be able to do it. So what do I get is the question. Right. You're going to get the mechanism, first of all. I'll show you this. Um, th and, and this is the reason why I would go for the bundle in this case. Normally I would say to you, go for the bundle if you like, go for the multi-buy. But in this case I'll say go for the bundle because if you go for a multi-buy, you'd still have to buy this separately. If you go for the bundle, you'd get it together. And this is the important bit, as we'll see um, in just a little bit. That's going to allow you to create the twist and pop effect. That's the mechanism there, uh, which you'll use with all of the decorative dies that you get in this collection. So that is included. The decorative elements that you get here are thus. You saw the oval frames in one of the cards uh, just a few moments ago. Uh, this one here is that um, gorgeous oval frame, as I've said. It's actually called the ornate frame. Um, and you get a uh, little extra dice to be able to lay this up with. See your little mirror and your lipstick and your little... Um, Atomizer. Atomizer. I nearly said fas fascinator there, but it's definitely no, that's an atomizer. completely different. Uh, uh, fascinator is on your head, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Um, so you can pop those onto your uh, little all eight frames that pop out, or indeed, if you decide to maybe pop some pictures on there, I think they'd look rather nice. You then got your uh, precious secrets. Woohoo! So again, that one's rather nice. Maybe um, key to the door. It's twenty one, isn't it? Yes. For a twenty one card, or again, I think popping some pictures on there would look really, really cute. So frames. You've then got. Balloons. Look at oh, well that one's come a little bit unstuck. Um, but how great is it though that you know you're seeing things like balloons in here, you're seeing things like hearts pop out, the cupcakes, which I showed you a few moments ago. Our oh, guys have just engineered these absolutely brilliantly uh, to allow you to create the most fun cards ever. Cupcakes popping out, boom. Thank you very much indeed. And then you've also got in this collection some presents as well. That's yes. Christmas in it wrapped up for you, isn't it? There. Absolutely it is. Yeah. And and hopefully uh, what you're going to see, well I know you're going to see is that these are nice and easy um, to pop together. 37 pounds and 10p is your platinum price on these. If you're shopping in the US and your platinum 47.19 uh, it is a seven piece uh, collection. Low stock though as I say. Uh, we don't have as much stock on this as we do have of other items but um, let's have a look at these because people seeing these for the first time won't believe that it's as simple it as it is to put these together. And I think what you said was absolutely spot on. It's this um twist and pop mechanism that's going to make it work so well. So basically it is a 
cuts around the outside and it does all the scoring on the inside so these are much shallower score line um, dies blades so they just score they don't actually cut so that's what makes it work so well i'm just going to quickly show you a couple of cards so first of all we've got this one as ben said gorgeous on the outside kablam brilliant on the inside see if i can get back a bit so you can see there we yes. are then you know i love this by just curving the card Whammo. with the cakes so that one's perfect there beautiful uh, twist and pop that one down you see and then go back down then i look at this one then we've got the balloons Boom. that go that way actually if i'd have held the card the right way around <laughs> show it the right way around there we go then i love this one this is so so pretty and just by putting score lines in i don't know if you can see the score lines just using your scoreboard yes. with the hearts and those gorgeous gorgeous frames oh that's what i meant that's super cute it's lovely isn't it now this one baby. really i thought this was lovely so this means that you can um this is a sharon callis venetian lace frame die yeah. so you doesn't you know all of those that i put on here were square or rectangle it doesn't have to be so long as your mechanism oh, fits on the inside okay. there's nothing that says it's got to be a square card which I think that is absolutely inspired. Whoever spotted and realised that they've got two sets of dice, it st stands up on its own, freestanding, yeah. and then pop. That is the that is level of detail is immense, isn't it? Absolutely perfect. Yeah, Susan Rushton just says that the twist and pop mechanism is dabomb.com. I've made twist and pop cards and, and made the mechanism from scratch. What a time consuming process. I know that's the thing. You don't want to have to do that and you don't have to with this collection. Thank goodness for that mechanism, says Susan. Uh, it's now easy peasy making these cards and Jean Marie just saying, I love using these twist and pop dies. They are super, super easy to use. So much fun with these uh, as well. Uh, and thank you for all the messages coming in um, about my uh, kick. Uh, Gail says, Ben, I think we should develop, I don't even know how you say this, we should develop the crafters calisthenics. Yeah, calisthenics. Some hand and finger exercises. We don't want to have crafters elbow. Uh, Mary said, um, maybe don't do that again because we don't want you to split your pants. Nobody needs to see that, but everybody needs to see. That's actually happened at somewhere I've yes, worked. Previously, did. a presenter did yeah. split their pants on air, uh, but that is a story for another day. Corin. <gasps> yes, right, so I am, I've got the twist and pop mechanism and I'm just going to pop that. Now this is by far and a half the hardest element of the whole project. Now, when you get your main um, dies, not your twist and pop element, but your main dies, you're going to get this instruction um, little booklet. I mean, it's literally a small piece of card, but it just tells you exactly what you need to do. And it even marks where you need to put your adhesive. So that is perfect. So I'm going to go through it now, but it's, you know, we've got all of that to remind you. Let me just move those out of one way. So what we've got now, and I'm going to just show you, every time I do this, I always have to take a deep breath and do but never mind we'll get this done we'll do this together so i've got this here mm -hmm. and you can see the score line so what i'm going to do is i'm going to fold it get, get it the right way around i'm going to fold into the score line so i've folded it backwards and then i'm just going to fold it diagonally across there now if you find it hard just fold backwards and forwards because if you fold backwards and forwards there we go, I'm just going to turn it that way around. You're going to enhance those score lines and it will actually naturally fall into place. So I've got this bit, these bits come forward and all I need to do, so it's just a little, so what I've done is I've folded that one. Can you see I'm just bending that and then press it flat. So it's quite hard to show, so all you do is fold it down so that you get the triangle on one side and then literally just bring the other one down and flatten that. It just takes a minute or two, but yeah. did you see, because I went backwards and forwards on my score lines, it went. Now, the first time I ever did this, I only um, folded my score lines in one direction, and I really, I was struggling, and it was resisting, and it was trying not to, to go in the way I wanted it. The minute I went backwards and forwards on my score lines, I found it so much easier. So I've made that little mechanism. 
There you go, you can see. It's just like a little house. It's like a little, little tent. Little, little tent. Mm. So I'm going to put that to one side. Let's move that out of the way. Next thing I need to do is get my card base ready. So here's my card base. It is a six inch card. But as you saw earlier, we can be doing any size that we want. And I'm just going to pop my papers in. And it really does, I think it looks a lot better if you put your papers in two separate pieces instead of in um, in one piece. Oh, okay. Because you don't have anything across the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, do I want to do it that way or the other way? I'm going to do it that way. Turn it around, change my mind. I'm having the intent bubbles at the bottom. So there's the first piece. Turn that round and I'm going to do the same on the other side. And then we can pop that one in here. This really is, I promise you, it's going to be as easy as it looks. So that's going to be my mirror image piece of card. There we go. Just burnish that one. And then I'm going to pick one side to be the front. It could be whichever side you want. And then we can do, do that one there. And as I've done my intense bubbles at the bottom, let's do the intense bubbles at the bottom just here. Mm -hmm. And that's going just there there we go right there that's that bit done naturally what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in with wet glue and then I'm just going to clip it so what I tend to do is I'm going to put my wet glue on here okay on one side only put it on one side and I've always done this with tape before so this is six inch card so that that point is my middle and I'm just going to pop that two can you see it up to that center line just popping it there yeah then once i've done that i'm going to pop my second bit of glue on there and all i do is bring the card over now because i've used wet glue i'm just going to show you that's inside there and i'm just going to just put a couple of clips on like we were talking well one will do i'm going to put that on there and i'm just going to put it to one side and i've used the wet glue because it's going to add rigidity and it's going to make be firmer so let's just put that to one side it's up there whilst we do the rest oh i should have got i've not thought this through let me just check something a minute i might need to do a qu little bit of counter adjusting in just one tick well i can because i have oh. can i do it no, I need my larger Gemini. Just I'll tell you one what, minute. I'll let you grab, a second. I'll let you grab that a second. Uh, lots of people saying that they're loving the twist and pop dies. Uh, I love using these, says uh, Dean Marie Penny. And Mary Pena says, I love these Shazam dies. They are a bit like Shazam, aren't they? I love that movie. Have you seen that movie? It's brilliant. Have you seen that, Johnny? Shazam. Oh, it's a great movie. Great movie for the kids. It's about a little, uh, a little boy who uh, gets his superhero powers, and whenever he says Shazam, he turns into this superhero. I'll lend you the DVD. It's brilliant. Um, I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, OK, over to Sorry. you. Sorry. OK, it didn't take long to drop over. No. So I've got another piece of white card, and I'm just going to pop my larger die on here. So what you've got in whichever set you pick, you have got an outline die and a detailed die. So I'm just going to pop that onto there. Well, it's been cut a bit close, but we can get that on. There we go. Put that one on and put that one on. And then we can run that through. OK. And then I have got, because cake, it's, if, if you're going to have cake, it's got to be chocolate, hasn't it? So we've got some lovely brown, because that's going to be our chocolate cake. I'd also go for a nice carrot. Oh, yes. A carrot cake. No? Mm, you don't tend to do decorative carrot cakes like this, do you, with the icing on the top? Yeah, you do. Do you? Okay. You always put icing on the top of carrot cake, don't you? Yeah. All right, then. I, 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 I would. Okay. Definitely. I don't know if I would have a carrot cup. I don't know if I had a carrot cake cupcake, though. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to cut that out <laughs> of the chocolate brown. It was my husband's birthday on Thursday, yeah. and I, we, my daughter and I got him a cake. We didn't make it, we bought him one, because I was working. I had to go off to Hobby Maker. It didn't last very long. No. It must have evaporated in the Did box. It, it yeah. tends to happen if you leave it. Once you've cut it, yeah. you Did it just it, shrink? It just, just mm, goes yeah. into the atmosphere, into the cake atmosphere. Yeah, must have done, must have done. Because, yeah. blimey, three what sort days. What 
Hmm? What sort of cake was it? Chocolate. Oh, it's like again. a super indulgent chocolate cake. Well, those super indulgent ones, they disappear super quickly Do into, they? into the cake atmosphere. Yeah, if you yeah. don't, you don't, yeah. you don't eat them. It was, it was quite impressive how quickly that disappeared. To say there's only three in the house. Yeah. There we are, a bit and scary. It's always that thing, isn't it? Uh, you'll be like, who's, who's, eating, who's eating the cake? Well, it wasn't me. Well, it wasn't me. Well, I didn't do it. But who did it then? <laughs> yeah, because there's no one else in the no. house. <laughs> there we go. Right, now, what you will see when you, if you can look at these is, I might have to turn it over, is you have got... Oh, ticky tape to me. We have got... You don't have it on your main die on here because it's an outline die but on this one I have got score lines just there and just straight through that cupcake just there and just there now I've just reinforced those score lines before I put it onto the base so I'm going to take this one back put it back the right way around and then we're just going to add our glue onto here and again by using the solvent based glue that's going to add extra firmness to my project it's going to work really really well so let's just come across here i'm going to have to mix and match my adhesives on here i think actually so let's go across there oh maris house says i love sweet cream sweet cream cheese frosting on carrot cake yes yeah and decorated with icing carrots Ooh. that's why i like carrot cake as well because it's obviously calorie free it's yeah. really good for you yeah. Because it's all just carrots. It just counts as part of your five a day, doesn't it? Yeah, that's why I always have five slices. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. done. I'm fit and healthy. I'm good to go. There we go. Right. So that's been lots of glue on there. And then I can pop that straight on to here. Mm. Okay. There we go. <laughs> mm. wow. Let's press that down. And I love this because if a little bit of glue goes on, it's not going to hurt one bit. And then what I can now do is I can then come back on those score lines and reinforce them. But because I had just reinforced them before I put them down, it naturally folds. Can you see? So we can then just bend that on there. So you need a strong card, you know, your 250... 220-250 GSM upwards and that's going to work so let's just take this so we're going to just let's put it the direction we want it to go in so that's going to go one two and three let's zigzag that so all I've done is zigzagged it backwards and forwards and that is my main element now all I have done as you will see here is cut it out again and then I've just inked around the edges of each of the cutouts but you didn't need to see me do all of that because look, where's the time gone? So now we can layer those onto here. Yep. And remember, all the time this is happening, you remember that mechanism we put in the middle of the card? That's drying nicely for me, isn't it? So mm. we will be ready to go. Now, you don't have to do mats and layers if you don't want to. You could have cut that into white and then you could have just hand coloured it or you could just have it in one colour you know I'm oh there was a I saw a really nice card I'll have to see if I can find it back in the um in our box of samples where they'd just gone in with gilding wax oh yeah yeah to give a really really pretty effect so you know don't think you know if this paper piece in isn't the sort of thing that you would enjoy then don't worry about it you can you don't have to paper piece there are lots and lots of alternatives to how you can decorate it so we can just come up here all the way there we go and that's going to go on there you can see all we've just done is just literally cut that out in four colors and then just alternate al alternated them round is that the yeah. right word uh, yeah yeah i think so i think so too. alternated them <laughs> it just didn't sound right <laughs> no, it doesn't does it alternated yeah Okay, right, so I'm going to put my little cherry on there and then we can come in with the frosting. You notice all the cupcakes out there disappeared quite quickly as well. Were, were they in yesterday, were they? Uh, Becky, no. Nah. Oh, Friday. Friday, I think they were brought in. There were many ones. Yeah. Kind of ones that you need to eat like two or three of, really. Of course. To get, you know, a bit of satisfaction. Johnny had two. Charlotte had a lot more than that, she's just said. Have you had one? There's only about two left now. No. Oh. As, as my husband would say, 
one is just dirty in the plate for no reason, isn't it? <laughs> is that what he says? Well, he, he actually says it about pints of beer, but I thought I'd adjust it to What's cake. What's he doing having a pint of beer on the plate? <laughs> no, he says there's no point having one pint of beer because it's just getting the glass mucky for no oh, reason. Oh, yeah. I, that, that I could agree with. I could agree with both of those statements. <laughs> cake and beer. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Mary says, now I really want a cupcake or two. Yep, yep. I know that feeling well. Yep. Right, yep. so what we've done there now is I have, well, let me just bend that one round. I need to just put a little bit of glue on there just where it hasn't stuck down. Let's put a little bit on there. Just press that. There we go, look at that. So we've got a little wafer, we've got our cherry. Maybe you're gonna go in once it's, you know, glossy accents on there, make that shiny. Mm. You know, it could be whatever color you wanted. Just press that, let that tacky glue grab. Now, I've got my card base. Let's hope that's nicely dry. So let's have a look. So when we, this is the bit we did before. And when we open it out, look. There we go. Can you see, if I just lift it that way so you can see opens yeah and can you see how it just <laughs> closes itself up yeah right now this is the key bit popping this together there is there is no rule about where you put the glue now the little um well there is a rule but it, it's not too important on here it says bottom left top right okay that's fine you can do top left bottom right so uh, the rule is it has to be the two diagonally opposite. So don't go two tops or two bottoms. Right. So the instructions show you those two, bottom left, top right. If you want to do it that way, that's fine. Just make sure they're on the diagonally opposite pieces. So I'm going to do it again with a tape pen just to be on a bit of speed. So I'm going to put a bit of tape on here. Oh, I've done it with that one. I meant to do it with this one. And a bit of tape just down here. Let's just come back in. I wanted it with a stronger tape. And then what I need to do is I need to just make sure my center's in the center. And then I need to make sure, where have I put the glue? Those two opposites. So I'm just making sure that's in the center. That's there. I've done this with a little bit of a buckle, but that's mm -hmm. absolutely fine. And then the first time you've just got to sort of just guide it down. Come on. I've done it there and there. So let's just go first time round, get it to close up, because you've just got to force it that first time. Come on, the close and close. There, it's going now. There we are, look, uh, you can see. Well, see. Just that first time, yeah. just while everything scores, fold it down, and then next time, yes. there you go. Can you just see, it's just, it's just literally, while you're making it, because you're just forcing it against those score lines, so just, all, all I did was just put those two and just push them down to go down and then that comes up. So once we've got to there, we've got, we're nearly there. We're going to take this and I've got a piece of yellow card and I'm going to pop that one onto the front. Let's just pop a little bit of glue on there. There we go. And that's going to go on the front because remember the front is just as important as the inside and some white and that's going to go just i mean you can have whatever colors you want so you just work out what colors work for you and uh, oh, let's go that way there we are put that one on here there we go, that one. And I've picked this one because, this one to go on the front, because there's no little notches cut out. Because if you look at, if you look at this one, can you see on that blue one, you, you, they don't uh, always, yeah. they don't fit as, as well. So yeah, this one fits really well as a separate one. So all we've done is just literally cut them out again and just cut out the elements. And that one goes just there. Let me see if I can find some foam pads. And then we can just pop a few. What have I done to that foam pad there? Put a couple of foam pads just on here. Let's come. Wow, there's a lot there. How many did I end up with? 
You have to talk to it, of course, because it's quite Hopefully, important yeah. that you talk to it. Stripper four there, so let's just pull that one, put that one there. Oops, stuck to me now. Good foam pads, these sticking really well. And I did offer to go and get you some bigger ones. It's okay. And these ones actually are working quite well for this. Let's put that one. Why is this ticking? Susan's just been in touch to say it's 7.30 a.m. here in CA. California? Yep. However, that has not stopped me from making cupcakes. <gasps> she says they're in the oven now. Oh, the, I mean, this What's is she done? right up my street. Red, red velvet cupcakes <gasps> with cream Ooh. cheese frosting. Oh. Ooh. Susan, that sounds amazing. Susan, can you I thought she was going to say some sort of healthy breakfast muffin, you know. No. Well, that's healthy breakfast, isn't it? Red velvet cupcakes. Cream of course. Cheese frosting. Yeah. Breakfast of champions right there. Yeah. Um, send pictures, please. And Anne says, uh, this is the first time... I know that is interesting. She says it's the first time I've seen um, it done this way. Uh, usually, uh, they glue the mechanism together and then stick the whole deal into the card. So it just goes to show you oh, again. Right. I see it done that way as well. I think who does it that way? Is it Craig who does it that way? I think whichever works best for you. But it shows you you can do it both ways. Glue yeah. it together all together before you stick it in, or do it the way that Corinne's done it. I think both ways are as easy as effective, but just see what works um, for you. And Mary Pat says, now I want to make twist and pop cards today. Uh, there's something very satisfying about making that mechanism. There is. I just think it's very clever how we've created all of these different, uh, the mechanism's clever in itself. And it fits them all. But that's what I mean. Like, and yeah. all of the different things that you can make pop out of the card, I just think are yeah. fantastic, really. And I know. It it's quite takes some yeah, this is where it blows my mind i think and we, we come on here and we, we you know we we demonstrate these and i love doing this and it you know it it takes some getting used to you know over the years i've been doing this six and a bit years now to get used to doing this mm. but i think we don't we don't mention the people enough that do the designing because there are so many elements whether we're talking cutting emboss folders whatever you know there's so many of our things that we do and actually it just blows my mind what, how they make them all work and how they come uh, up with the concept in the first place yeah it is bonkers oh, we have got an unbelievable uh, design team here um, some real kind of um, big thinkers who just come up with these amazing concepts and I suppose it's all very well having that idea but then actually taking it from paper or yeah. I guess computer as it is now and then making it into an actual practical item that you yeah, can take over exactly. craft with. Exactly. It's so so clever, isn't it? Yeah. So let's just put And then we do them a disservice by selling them at these ridiculous prices. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> thanks for thanks for all your hard work. Uh, but we're you know taking off up to eighty percent today. There we go. These. So I've got lots of little bits here. So we've got this gorgeous now sprinkled with love cupcake and then the cupcakes are inside. Love it. There we go. Um, apologies to everyone who is now wanting to eat cake. <laughs> uh, but there you go. That's, that's the problem that you have watching us here uh, on Crafters TV. You know we'll always craft and we'll always talk about food. Um, the Advanced Twist and Pop Die Collection is the one you've got to go for because you get the mechanism uh, built into the bundle. All right. So uh, you, you, can go, you can go for the, um, the, the deal. It's, it is a twofer. Um, but I would say go for this because you get the mechanism included and you saw how easy it was to create with that. Uh, if you, if, yeah, I mean, you can. If you want to go for individual ones and get the mechanism on its own, you can. Uh, but this is the one to go for because you get all of the um, decorative dies, all of the um, other elements in there to be able to decorate these up too. It's such a fun collection. Always been one of my favourite sets. Uh, and clearly you guys absolutely love it as well because um, it is just so, so super usable, super fun and super easy to create uh, these phenomenal cards. Uh, decorate the outside to the standard that you, you, know, you would always do. Create a beautiful card front. But then of course on the inside, your recipient's not going to expect to have those presents, cupcakes, balloons, frames, whatever it might be, popping out of the center. Uh, Mary Reno says, great card. And she says, when I see or use these dies, Twist and Shout by the Beatles starts playing in my head. The only difference is, uh, it's the Beatles singing Twist and Pop. Absolutely. Uh, and Panda Kraus says, I've just been for coffee and cake at the Yorkshire Wildlife Park. It was yummy, warm, oh man. It was y yummy, warm brownie with ice cream, black currant coolie and edible flowers. Oh, I hope they were edible, says Panda Crafts. 
That does sound nice, though, doesn't it? It does. We can go and have a cake break in about 20 minutes. It's fine. Um, how many cupcakes are left? Probably not many because Jake's out there. Um, let's have a look at some of the uh, pop-out uh, craft kits that we've got because we've got a couple on the show for you. The pop-out characters. This was box number 37. Um, and well, the value for money on these, as always, is amazing. This one is uh, all about creating the pop-out cards with the little pop-out teddy bear. And you've got a little rabbit in there as well. So it's um, 24 cards minimum you're going to make with this. And we always say that it's 24 cards minimum. minimum and that's just based on the amount of card black that you're going to get within the actual box itself but of course you've got 210 elements in here and that is uh, papers it is um, pearls it is printed papers as I say it's stamps it's dies it's your colored card pack you've got your card blanks and envelopes in here as well and assorted ribbons but you'll make more than 24 cards because if you look after the stamps and dies that you're going to get in here exclusive content in the box as well by the way uh, you'll be making cards uh, out of this collection for a very very long time it's a 20 percent saving today less another 20 if you're platinum that's why you can pick this up for 50 15 pounds or dollars 99 which i think is a really really great price and as i said if you are looking to um you know maybe pop in missing boxes into your collection that is number 37 and then we followed that up with box number 38 funnily enough which was uh the pop-out scenes so again if you didn't want to stretch to the pop-out uh, the full pop-out scenes that we've got on the show today you can get this um box on its own and what I would say worth bearing in mind that if you have already got some of the pop-out scene dies the content again in here is exclusive to the box so theoretically if you love the pop-out scene idea you could get this and the pop-out scene bundle that we got on the show um, and, and not get any repeats once again that is 200 elements you're going to get inside the box once again it's a 20% saving less another 20 if you're platinum uh, and in there again you've got the dies you've got stamps card blanks envelopes assorted ribbon you've got your colored card pack in there plus your printed pack paper and all of your pearls as well uh, 15 pounds or dollars and 99 pence or cents uh, we're going to go back to where we started this show has flown over I think it's gone so quickly I can't believe we're like heading towards the end of it um, we're going to go back to where we started which are, are these um, ornate pop-out dies and again, just to kind of prove, really, I suppose when you think of, well, certainly when I do, when you think of like pop out elements, I always think of sort of, you know, fun and um, almost sort of cartoony elements as we've seen with, with things like the pop, the, the pop out, um, the twist and pop. Uh, dies I should say uh, but these go to show you that you can create real kind of vintage pop-out effects as well um, the idea with these again is to create um, a really cool pop-out effect um, within the center of your card as you've seen already today as well you can pop these um, on the outside you can if you want just snip away the little um, notches that you're going to get in each of the outer dies and just use these as fantastic uh, layering dies for a project and just use them 2d if you want there's lots of different ways to be able to use them but that was your grande circle you're also going to get uh, that baroque oval as well uh, then you've got the beautiful regal diamond it looks a bit like a custard cream that mm. one of my favorite biscuits do you have custard creams in the u.s you must you must do um don't you think so oh, please let us know u.s do you have custard creams Oh, Charlotte's Googling as well. Uh, and then you've also got the Majestic Damask too, which was the set that Corinne used in the first demo with these that we did uh, around about two o'clock this afternoon. We're going to have another look at these, and I kind of guess this will be the final demo of the shoe, uh, because then we'll have to do our little wrap-up and get your vote going on your favourite make of the show so far. If you want to um, pick up this deal, $25.57 Platinum, $32.76 if you're shopping with us in the US and you're a Platinum member, uh, or you can go for two of these for £18 or $23 dollars uh, launched back on the 7th of june if you want to watch the launch show for more ideas right one more to squeeze in corin um which of the sets are you going to work with which one, which i'm going to use the regal diamond so oops Ooh. dropping all the bits right so let's start exactly as we did before custard we're going to hmm? it's the custard cream one it's crystal cream one yes mm. now this is a piece of card that is eight by six inches i always find that six inches is a really good height for these because it gives you just that the right amount of um that little border at the top and the bottom yeah. so what we've done is we've then scored two inches in from either side and that gives me two two inch panels and a four inch panel in the middle my total of my eight inches so what we're going to do is we're going to pop it onto our mat and then i'm going to remember 
all the way around you've got the little gap in here the little notch um, in there which is how it works so I can then just line that up on there I've got any tape yeah I've got a couple of pieces just here and then I'm going to pop that on make sure it's lined up and this is one time when I actually do pop my tape across where it's going to go just to hold it in place and then we can go through there after the last one I'm putting all the mats in like I said normally <laughs> when I was at home doing these I was going straight through and cutting with without the magnetic shimming but who knows? Who like knows? to show that everyone's machine is slightly different, maybe. Yeah. 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 I could have tried it on this one, couldn't I? It's a different machine. I've swapped my machines over, but we shall see. So then we've got here. And then just remember to very carefully, and this is another reason why I like to do it with the less mats, is because that's stuck down really well. And I just want to be careful so that I don't pull it up off there we go let's go through there and that's come for this just roll the tape now i can see i've got quite a bit of sticky tape on there so i'm just going to get rid of that sticky tape off there just like that there we go and then off there like that there we go and then i'm going to rub those pencil marks out as well there we are so we're back to a nice clean piece but what you can see is look that piece is just popping out perfectly so let's just reinforce these score lines that we've already done once so that's going to go there and that's going to go there and then all I'm going to do is I don't get my scoreboard I'm just going to literally pinch that by doing it that way you get a little bit of a sort of a border and I just find it gets me a better finish and you can see that's your shape. Can you see that popping out? Yeah. Absolutely, perfectly, really, really well. Now, what I've got is I've got another piece of card. So exactly, oh, this is just slightly bigger. So you can see this is six and a quarter by eight and a quarter and folded and scored down the middle. Just so that when we put this in, if we put our center point on our center point, I've got a border all the way around the outside. Now, normally I always say to you, always always um decorate first but actually with this one it's going to be fine to decorate it um after we stuck it together because it's going to go t totally flat so let's just get the glue running out oh i was just cleaning the bottle and i closed it didn't i that is why the glue's not coming out there we go there we are let's put that one on there let that come here onto here this is super strong and it'll also mean it has that little bit more rigidity to my card so all i need to do remember i'm going to line this up with a center point in the centers just there and then those will line up just there that's it so just push that down now the other way this glue works is it likes the heat of your hands as well yeah so if you just press over there and if you think your hands might be a little bit mucky just turn it over and do it on the black okay. side just like that so then we can take this and then you can see that's now going to fold up perfectly love it so all i've got next is i'm going to take my next dies actually because now i've got my bigger machine i can do the two together let's take my blue and put that one on i feel like i wanted to see it in yellow for because of yeah why yellow why huh? yellow i was i was being a bit um I was a bit like half a second, half a minute behind there, yeah. trying to work out why yellow. And then my pink, we can pop that one on, and then we can run those through. There we go. And that's going to go through there. Let's get the tape off my hands. Oops, that's well and truly stuck. So let's get that through. And then this is going to decorate the mechanism up really, really beautifully. So. We quick and simple there. process again this isn't it this die set sorry nice and quick and easy to oh, use so easy it really isn't anything complicated at all so look at that that one's poked out stuck to my magnetic shim so that's there and then i've got the blue one just here so all we need to do now is just make sure all those last little bits are out just down there and poke that one out 
there we go and there we are right so what I'm going to do now is I've also got I've also got from the centers I've cut the diamonds in green and white and just added some extra little bits so all I'm going to do now is I'm going to get some foam pads and pop those just down the center there we go one there and one there let's just get a smaller one that I can just put just there there we go so lots of chat on the socials about custard creams at the minute I'm seeing coming through I'm sure I just saw a comment fly by from Susan saying that you get your custard creams from the British store down the road what do, what what do you what else do they sell at the British stores? That's what I want to know. My mum, my mum, I've told you my mum's in France. They have a, they have what they call the English shop. Right. Because my stepdad likes a certain brand of baked beans. Heinz. That's the one. Yeah. And you can't get those in the um, French supermarkets. Really? No. I'm surprised at that. No. So, they, so he goes there specifically for his beans. Yeah. Right. So that you. <laughs> it, you because they do like haricot, oh haricot fair in tomato sauce oui. or whatever, um, and they're just pattern not the same. I remember when we went to um, where did we go? Morocco. Yeah. And my husband went up for the you know it was, it was all inclusive and we went up for the English full English breakfast. Right. No, no. <laughs> so he, he put the baked beans on his plate. And <laughs> he only did it once. Oh, were they terrible? <laughs> he said they were absolutely rock hard. They were just they were obviously. Tried to recreate them. Recreate an English bean and it wasn't at all. Yeah. No, not at all. There we go. So we can pop that one in the middle. Then let's do this. No, apparently it wasn't. Susan, you'll have to let us know what else they have. I'm really interested to know what other things there are in the British store. I guess it would be, th it would be things like, um, like maybe Heinz beans. Tea bags, specific bounds, brands like, of tea bags. Like if PG I'm thinking. or yeah. uh, Tetley. Tetley's or... Yeah. And what not? Marmite will probably be in there, wouldn't it? Ugh. What about things like, I don't know, in America, do they have bread like we do? You know, like our loaves. I don't know if they're a different type of loaf of bread. I know oh, that yeah. sounds a bit strange, but I know that's another one mum, mum can't get out in France. Is um, She makes a lot of her own bread. Yeah. Just, well, she's she got a bread maker. Proper, like, British, yeah. like Horvis. Yeah, Horvis. you don't get that over there either. So we can put that in there. So can you see how this is coming together? And then all I've done is I've got some, um, this is the Everyday Delights 8x8 paper pad. I've just cut it and then gone round with the black pen. So just let me grab that black pen again to show you. Face it's chisel. really easy. So you've got your chisel end. Yeah. Just get your chisel end. Just support your hand. So support your hand there and then just... I'll let go now. Depends. There we go. Just like that. Support it. And then go round like that. And then it just saves you a mat and layer, but it just completely finishes it. Really looks nice. And then we can pop in some of our little elements. Um, Stacey says, are you talking about a chocolate filled, a chocolate donut filled with custard? No, Ooh. that is called a Bismarck here. No, custard cream is what you would guys, what you guys would call a cookie. It's, it's literally, I mean, it's not the, it's a smaller version of what you see in there with that dye. It's like, it's like yay big, and it's it's two biscuits, and inside you've got like a little. Do you like pastry type biscuit? If, if, consistency more of a pastry than a cookie, isn't it? If you think. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, that is a great way to describe. It. It's like it's like a vanilla Oreo, but rectangular. But rectangular is what it yeah. is, is what it's like. And so with, it, I would slightly say with less filling than an Oreo as well. So you've got like custard in the middle where yeah. you've got the white in the Oreo and yeah. then, um, yeah. And you have to, what you have to do is you have to, well, I, I eat them, you separate them. Separate them, them Separate twist. them and then scrape the custard off ah, 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 and then eat the biscuits separately. That's right. how I eat them. Now, there we go. So this goes just like that. So I'm actually going to take, because I've got some extra pieces here, I'm just going to take my extra pieces and I'm going to pop this on the front because as remember everything about this is all about that detail mm. 
So I'm going to put one on there. You can't get pro proper British bread, says Nicola, on YouTube. Right. English muffin bread is the closest, says Nicola. I don't even... So what do you have for bread, Charlotte wants to know. And also, Mary says there's a store here in Maine called British Goods. Wonderful stuff in there. What's the stuff in the British... I need to know what, you, what is in there. Let us know, please. Is it, yeah, pot noodles. Is that wonderfully British? Round trees jelly. Uh, trying to think of other stuff. Uh, what else do we do well? As far as food is concerned, not much. Uh, <laughs> I can't think about digestive biscuits, Yorkshire puddings. What? Oh, my tech pen's run out. Uh, yeah, it's just this. You don't realise what you have that's very English until you're not in England anymore. Our tom tomato ketchup's always very different, isn't it, when you go abroad? You, you never get the, the same tomato ketchup as we have here. I think jams as well. You know, like your Hartley's yes. jams are very difficult to find a good jam. Uh, Let's just put that on here. We're nearly done with this. I just thought, while I've got extra little bits, I'm going to decorate up the front <laughs> as well. <laughs> So we can pop this on here. Oh, we're going to have to be quick with our we are. Vemo, aren't we? our voting. So I can put that on the front. I've got this one. Let's just put a little bit of, come on, glue. And so oh. maybe Mary says ours has all sorts of items, tea, biscuits, lemon curd, etc. cetera. Uh, they also have like a Scottish section, which has umbrellas, <laughs> wellies, and tartan plaid items. That's brilliant. <laughs> This now, is a great look card. At that. We've got that on the front that's going to, you can either post it flat like that or you can just um, tilt it so it just sticks out a little bit. And we've also decorated the front as well because I thought I could. So I would. I mean, seriously, that is, I'm going to call that one the decorative custard cream pop out card. Okay. And I think that is my favourite of Corinne's makes over the course of the last couple of hours. But it's not down to me to choose, it's down to you. So let's get Corinne Ooh. to line up all of the cards. We've and done we four, have haven't we? A, uh, two or three minute vote on this. Right. And then so, you can get voting. So let's one, go two, quickly. three, or four. Majestic Damask was the first one. 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 Two. Is that scene? Oh, that's you see, nice I like that actually. one. Three is our twist and pop, pop, and four custard cream. is our custard cream. One, two, three, or four. Got to be four, isn't it? Got to be four. Uh, Susan, oh, two, says uh, Charlotte. Uh, ben, says Susan, our shop is called the British Connection. I get most of my chocolates, like Cadbury's Roses, crunchy bars and biscuits, and crisps as well. That is another thing. They do have Tetley tea. Oh, I've got a classic one, HP sauce. Yes. Uh, Heinz baked beans. They also have a frozen section so I can get pasties. Yes. Good old Devonshire pasties. Uh, Yorkshire pudding. Uh, and I got my Platinum Jubilee commemorative plate there as well, says Susan. They literally got everything there. That's brilliant. Uh, love that paper on the last card, Corinne, says Mary Reno. Uh, and Jean, uh, Janine says, I've loved all of the colourful cards today we could do that actually couldn't we move to move to america open a uh, a british shop that would be quite yeah put a bit of a bit of a craft section in there as well mm, potential um do you just want to quickly see we've got so many plans haven't we write books put on a cruise do a camper van across america open a shop in america so many plans so little time uh, the uh, have you got the new floor on any of this no <laughs> not yet. Not yet. No, she, no, she does know that Sarah asked me to take her bra off. Yep. Did you see? You and you actually made the national press. I could not I, believe that. I made the national that. press. Yeah. The They'll put anything in the news these days, don't they? Seriously. <laughs> How is that even news? That was hilarious. It was my, uh, it was my biggest, uh, biggest celebrity moment to date, though, making the Daily Express. I mean, it doesn't get much bigger than that, does it? Really. I'm surprised my phone hasn't rang since, you know, for <laughs> offers of, you know, presenting awards or, you know, appearing on shows, but no, not yet. Anyway, we can, we can but wait. The, uh, <laughs> the pop-out creator card dice, so the custard cream is within this one. Um, you're going to get four, um, as I said, launched on the 7th of June. You can go individually or go on a twofer if you want. £18 or $23 is the uh, twofer price on these, unless you're discount. Uh, there's your Majestic Damask. That was the one that Corinne used to make that first card that you've just seen um, in the boot. 
This is the second one, I think everyone's favourite. It's not called the custard cream, it is actually the Regal Diamond. Um, so if you want to go for that one individually or on a two for all four of these you get within the bundle though. Uh, there is the Baroque Oval, if you smell what Baroque is cooking, as uh, Craig said previously. And then, uh, lastly in this set, is that gorgeous Grande Circle as well. So it's 20 dies in total, four collections. Um, uh, but 20 dies in total, 25.57, 32.76. We're just waiting on the winning card. Something that you might just want to um, get your hands on, which we do every weekend. So we have done these previously and they've been mystery bags, goodie bags. This uh, weekend's Weekend Super Saver is a brilliant deal because you're going to get your Year of Craft box too. All right, so that's the element that you're going to be paying for. 34.99, 39.95 is the deal on this. However... 27.99 today platinum 31.96 you're getting for free your rocker card kit 492 elements in this you can make the minimum of 20 cards it's 20 isn't it yeah 20 complete cards you'll make a lot more though oh, because easily. yeah there'll be loads of um, elements that you'll have left over so with, within the kit if you use all of the elements on all of the card bases it's 20 but you'll make tons more this is worth 24.99 or 29.95 on its own you get it for free as our weekend super saver deal so i think that's a really really good deal i know those have been very popular that is only available for you up until end of play today as our weekend super saver thank you for all of the lovely comments on this show hopefully you guys have had an Enough, uh, enough fun. Hopefully you've had as much fun as uh, we, we have had. Hopefully you've had enough fun because we're not doing any fun in Second Chance Sunday. There we are. Uh, the winner. Demo Which of the show. I've got to tell you, I'm disappointed. Two. Why wasn't it the custard cream? Can I have the custard cream to give away, please? You can. Thank you. It wasn't for. The guys in the gallery are going. Johnny's gone. Two. Charlotte's gone. Two, 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 two. <laughs> the winner is three. No, oh. it's two, no, it's two. It's two. <laughs> <laughs> two. Oh, thank you. There we are. I'm not surprised. I think you love that one. That's the scene. So, yeah, make sure you get the dies and you can do that. And you could do something like that with one of the lovely boxes. Of course you could. Absolutely right. Well, listen, thank you so much, Corinne. And um, we'll pop that one up onto the shelf and you'll get to vote for your demo of the day and demo of the week and the show a little bit later on. We've got uh, Second Chance Sunday coming up. Thank you to Corinne. Thank you to Superstar Susie on the socials. Thank you to the team. Make sure you check out your baskets if you've got items in them. For goodness sake as well, please, can you get the spiral pop-out dies? We're literally giving those away with an 80% saving. Uh, but whatever you've got, get your basket checked out. Make sure you check out the Sun of Seas on sale as well. And we will see you back here in two hours' time for what is set to be an amazing Second Chance Sunday. Until then, bye for now. <laughs>